Hillary said. Well, almost everyone. There's one guy who's got the power to do something to stop it, and you know exactly where I'm going. And they made a mistake. They tried to get Trump on their side, so they invited Donald Trump to Davos, I think a couple of times. But in January, when Donald Trump, I think, really began to see the beast that he was up against, he went to Davos, yeah, to the World Economic Forum, and he stuck a mega finger in their eye. We're committed to conserving the majesty of God's creation and the natural beauty of our world. But to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow, we must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. These alarmists always demand the same thing, absolute power to dominate, transform, and control every aspect of our lives. We will never let radical socialists destroy our economy, wreck our country. Two days after Donald Trump gave that speech, the 89-year-old leftist weirdo billionaire George Soros made an emergency intervention where, at Davos once again, warning that the U.S. 2020 election will determine the, quote, fate of the whole world. Now, in the context of Davos, take a look at this one more time. This is a month after Donald Trump addressed Davos and stuck the MAGA finger in their face. Here's what Francis, the Vatican, and Jeffrey Sachs had to say in response. And it is a dangerous country right now. It will be absolutely dangerous if Trump wins re-election. Trump wins re-election. Trump wins re-election. Francis invited this guy to the, to the Amazon Senate as an honored guest and advisor. He's also Bernie Sanders' advisor. What's he doing in the Vatican? Why is this guy who is a promoter for socialist, out and out socialist, Bernie Sanders, what's he doing advising the Pope? Why does he have entree to the Vatican friends? Sachs supports abortion and contraception, but that's not a problem for the Vatican. For the Vatican, for Pope Francis, and for his friends at the UN, Donald Trump is the problem, obviously, friends. Clearly, I consider the Trump administration a danger to the world, but I regard it as a purely temporary phenomenon that will disappear in 2020. Do you get it? Do you see why there's so much hate for Trump? Because with all of his faults, again, he's the capitalist. He's not the globalist. He never will be one of them. Which is why he pulled the United States out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Donald Trump pulled the United States out of the World Health Organization. That's Bill Gates and company. And now he's threatening to pull the United States out of the World Trade Organization. People say, yeah, well, Donald Trump got married twice. He's a bad guy. Really? <laughs> he's right in the face of the demons on this, friends. Nobody ever said he was a saint. He's knocking the sacred cows of the United Nations down all over the world right now. The General Assembly routinely votes 185 against the United States on almost everything right now. And you remember, speaking of the United Nations, in November of 2019, again, right before COVID landed, Trump went to the UN on the floor of the General Assembly, and he declared war on globalism. Wise leaders always put the good of their own people and their own country first. The future does not belong to globalists. The future belongs to patriots. And shortly after the speech at the UN, Donald Trump delivered, what do you think happened? The coronavirus was unleashed on the world, and Trump's booming U.S. economy went on life support. Do you think that was an accident? So when they tell you, when they tell all of us to stay home, wear your mask so grandma doesn't get sick, please understand what's really going on here. They don't care about your grandmother. They don't care about old people, these people. They don't care about babies. They want them aborted so that they can save the common home. Abort babies, millions of them all over the world. They don't care about babies. They don't care about old people. In fact, if you want to save your grandma, tell the globalists to stay the hell away from her. You remember how some of them, like Cuomo and characters like this, were running COVID recovering patients through nursing homes? That's how much they care about grandma. And the name of the game now is to bring the United States economy to its knees, get it out of the way, so that everyone will want the Great Reset. Make the new normal so intolerably abnormal that even you and I, maybe, 
You know, at some point in the near future, we'll be begging for the vaccines because we'll be driven crazy by that point. Begging for whatever else is going to keep us safe, according to our jailers and our handlers and our zookeepers. You see, that's what they want. That's why they keep using this term new normal. You know what we do to fight back? Go to work. Go back to school. If you're healthy, take off the mask. And for heaven's sake, go back to church and pray that Trump wins in November. That's what the reset was on. That's what the Russia hoax was all about. That's what, that's what the, the uh, impeachment hoax was all about, don't you see? For four years, I've been trying to stop this man because if he strengthens America, if he makes it great again, if he brings the economy back again, the reset won't happen. The new world order is going to be set way back. Who knows when they're going to have another COVID opportunity like this one again, and they know it. So I ask yourselves why they hate this man. These folks, these men, they hate God. They hate the unborn. They hate the traditional family. They hate you. And they hate Donald Trump, whose political opponents, by the way, right now are knocking statues of saints to the ground. They're beating up cops and they're burning flags. <laughs> you say you don't like Trump. I'm sorry, friends, but who cares? That doesn't really matter anymore. But you think of Trump's personality or his tweets. Look at the big picture. The choice is simple friends stand with america right now or fall with the new world order in the not so distant future there's no other choice i'm michael matt from remnant tv and we'll see you next week